everyone. Welcome back to my home and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn Wilson. I'm glad you're chatting with me today. Thanks for coming over to my home and thank you for letting me in your home. So I hope everyone is doing well today. We are going to be chatting about butcher box. I got a delivery today. I'm also going to let you know, am I going to continue with butcher box or not? Which way am I going to go? And I'll tell you the reasons why with either or. All right. We're also going to be talking about this money and receipts. And then I have a little haul from my local farm market and a little, little haul from stop and shop. I know they're expensive, but I did pick up a couple things there that are on sale and yeah. So let's get right into it. I'll show you what I got. Okay. So let me show you stop and shop first. Lettuce. Now this is the best lettuce I've ever had ever. This is probably the fourth container I've purchased. It's called Little Leaf Farms. The local lettuce locals love. Um, no need to wash, no GMO, pesticide, herbicide, and fungicide free. Fresh flavor and greenhouse grown. And I'm trying to see if I can see where this is from. Take my glasses off. I can't read it. It's so tiny, but somewhere in Massachusetts. So if you're from Massachusetts, hello. And uh, yeah, let me know if you're from Massachusetts. Little Leaf Farms, is that like a big place out there? I don't know, but you guys have the best lettuce. It is, I am not a huge salad person. I do enjoy a salad. Oh, by the way, notice white shirt, top. Remember my video on basic, you know, budget um, wardrobe. I've been doing it two weeks now, white shirt and changing the top. So we're doing it. But this i bought this the one day it was on sale for 4.99 for this i thought i'll get it i was in the mood for salad i couldn't stop eating it i could not stop that's how good it is and uh yeah so there we go okay what else did i get i got some feta cheese because i like feta cheese on my salad and i look at it this way if i can get salad in me if that means a certain dressing or certain something i'm gonna do it because it means i'm eating salad so I added to that a English cucumber, which is my favorite because I can't digest the other types of cucumbers. This is open because I already made a salad. So I got beets, sliced beets. You can't really see it too well, but let me tell you, yes, you can get the canned beets. And it's like I said, if I'm going to eat a salad, I'll pay a little extra because I'm getting some good nutrients in me. This is um, perfectly pickled beets and they're sliced. I got them the one day, they just looked really good. Hands down, I can't even tell you how delicious these are. I love canned beets. I will eat them cold right out of the can. I love, love, love beets. But you can get a tinny taste to it. These you do not, they are so delicious. They also sell them in a shrink wrap as a whole beet and you can slice them yourself. They're good, they're very good, but not as good as the sliced beets. So if you have those in your store and you were wondering, I'm telling you, go get them. I did pick up five of these um, Pure Leaf iced teas. They were on sale four for $5, $1.25 each. Be the same as going to the Dollar Tree. I like to get my son a treat once in a while and we make macaroni and cheese at home often for him, but this was just a little treat. It was on sale, so I got it. Two for $4, so it was $2 each. I didn't think that was bad. I went in for the lettuce and for hot dog rolls. Yes, we had hot dogs for dinner and salad. Uh, so we've used a few with our hot dogs. And then my husband has been wanting some English muffins and they were buy one, get one free. This one is honey wheat. And this one is buttermilk. So we got those, picked up muffins. This is a treat. Yes, I know I can make my own muffins. Yeah, I, I, I know all that stuff. I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here, but once in a while, quick and easy, I've had a hectic week. I got a pistachio for myself. My son loves the strawberry. I got that and I got one double chocolate for either him or my, my husband. We did it. I spent the money, we did it. Um, I got diced ham in a package. Same thing, can I dice up the ham? Yes but I don't have the ham in my freezer. I would get like a ham steak and dice it up. 
I don't have that. This was on sale for $2.99. So for that price, I got it. If I make pea soup, if I make potato soup, which I probably will be making because my mother loves potato soup and my husband does. And I haven't made that in a really long time. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get it, it was on sale. I'm gonna put it in the freezer. So when I wanna make a meal, you know, make egg cups with this. You can make a quiche. There we go. I picked up some cured salt pork, big hunk of that. And uh, I've been kind of getting into the rice and beans <coughs> thing and or the cornbread and beans. I don't know. I was never, I wasn't raised on that. I'm not from the South, but I had it a few times and I, I'm just starting to really like it. And I know that that's what they put in it. So I think I'm gonna cut this up you know, and proportion it out so that I have small uh, amounts that I can pull out when I make some beans in the crock pot and add that to it. Okay, let me clean this up and let me show you what I got from the farmer's market. Okay, so in the farmer's market, I got some mushrooms. I got two packages of that. I wanna make some homemade cream of mushroom soup to stick in the freezer. And um, I got a new recipe for that. I wanna try it out and when I do it, I'll bring you along give you the recipe and let you know how it tastes. I also got a melon and this one said it was a California, like a honey, not a honeydew, a cantaloupe. Kind of like a cantaloupe, it's a little bit of a different texture to it, a little different shape. It's definitely not ripe, but I picked that up. We'll have that at the end of the week. I actually went in for some nice Jersey tomatoes, which I did get, and they need a little softening up, so probably, Put those on the windowsill and you know two or three days they'll be ready to go i also needed a couple oranges so i picked these up and i am dehydrating these i'm teaching a class oh when am i teaching the class next week on wednesday and i'm teaching a group of um, seniors at my job we have a conference coming up and i'm making homemade foot soaks and you can make a citrus one and you actually put sliced dehydrated sliced oranges in your foot soak. So yeah, I'm gonna be making those and peppermint milk so foot soak. And um, I don't know, we're gonna do three different kinds. So that'll be fun. And then I also picked up a bag for $1.50 of seconds on tomatoes. And I probably should have just skipped the these tomatoes because these actually seem pretty good. I, there's a few funky spots on them. But I think what I might do is just cook these down, boil them down, and make like a stewed tomato with some lemon juice, and then I'll freeze that for one day when I wanna make angel hair pasta and a nice stewed tomato. So don't don't turn your nose up on seconds. This whole bag was $1.50, and tomatoes are not cheap, and that's quite a bit that I got for $1.50. All right, let me clean up, and I'll show you what I got in the butcher box. Okay, so I got Butcher Box, and I tell you all the time, it comes in the box, it comes frozen. It arrived this morning, and it is now, oh, I'm guessing about eight o'clock at night. So it has sat in the box all day till I could get home. And I wanna just show you that, yes, it's still frozen, and you can see the ice on it. So I got a double package, well, these are freezing cold, of pork chops. I did get a pulled pork. I am not a fan of pulled pork at all but my husband does like it. So this will be nice to have in the refrigerator with some fresh homemade coleslaw and he can make a nice slaw sandwich with that. That'll be good. Got one package of chicken and it is frozen solid. So we got that. I get the small box, I don't get a big box. And I got one package of grass fed ground beef, pound of that, there you go. Their steaks are delicious. Look at the size of that. There you go. So I probably, what I did last time is I cooked this up. I thawed it out, I chopped it up, and I made it in the frying pan, the electric skillet, and I did some peppers and onions with it and just made it like a stir fry. Put it over rice and then I just froze the rest and I pulled it out. I ended up using some of it. I made a soup out of it and the rest I put over noodles another day with some vegetables. So that's really good. And I get free bacon for life as long as I go with them. That was this deal that they had when I joined up. You got one free bacon every time you order. So their bacon, if you get nothing else, their bacon is out of this world. So, okay, couple things to close up the video with. 
And let me know in the comments below, do you use ButcherBox or do you use another meat delivery? And what are your thoughts? I'd like to get a little feedback on that. I got a coupon code from another YouTuber and that's why I got it. This is probably, I think we've been doing it about a year and I get it every three months, I get a delivery. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I did see another YouTuber, see Mindy Mom, I don't know if any of you watch her, and she had a coupon code for a different box meat. She also has done Butcher Box, but she did this other box meat, and the prices seemed a little bit better, and it was a good deal that I could get. So I was like, eh, I think I get a little bit more meat for the same price I got with Butcher Box. She raved about their steaks. She said, hands down, best she's ever had. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pause Butcher Box for a little bit. I'm gonna try this other company. I have Stop and Shop and BJ's and ShopRite and all these places around me for meat. But that's one thing I've always enjoyed is getting a good cut of meat. We go to a local butcher most times for our chopped meat, our ground beef, um, hamburger meat, whatever you wanna call it. Everybody, call, mince meat, everybody calls it something different. And um, there's something about going to a butcher and getting the meat, it is so good. <clears throat> so I think what I'm gonna do is try this other box company, see if I like it. If it's like, it, both of them are great, they're convenient, and I've done them because, you know, it's just, I get the meat delivered to my house it's one less thing I have to go to the grocery store for. That's the plus. Is the price like significantly cheaper? No, you're paying a good price of something you would go to a butcher for. So I'm used to butcher prices versus going to the local grocery store. I still look for markdown meats at my local grocery store. I still do that as well. And uh, I just fill the freezer. It's good to have a freezer full of things that you don't have to worry about it. The other thing I wanna say is check your receipts. So I did the self check, boom, 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 you know, you go through it. And then I got done and I'm looking, thinking, eh, it doesn't seem right. Well, if you look on the package, or let me just put a picture up here, it said buy one, get one free. Well, to me, that means I pay full price and the other one is free. Basically, they come out to half price each. But when I looked at my receipt, I see the price of the one, I see the price of the other. I put in my phone number for my discount. I don't see any discount. Huh, maybe they'll take it off at the end, right? Then I get four for $5 and it should be $1.25 each. And I look at my receipt and they took off 74 cents, which would make these $1.75 each. And I'm thinking, wait a minute here. You know, you owe me about $8, something's not right here. So I checked out because at that point it's self check and you know, the people that are there helping, they're not gonna give you the money back. They're gonna send you to customer service. So me and my little cart went right over to customer service and I said to her, it says buy one, get one free. And I paid for both. And she looked in the sales paper and she didn't see anything in it. And I said, but your sticker says buy one, get one free. And then some other guy came up and he was giving her a hard time. I wasn't giving her a hard time. I was just, you know, stating a fact. And then I said, these came up to $1.75, but they should be $1.25. So she calculated it all up and it was $8 and change. And yeah, there's my money. And I got my money back right away, no questions asked. So please check your receipts. I, you know, I'm, I'm just as guilty as this all the time. I go to the store, you check out, you put it on your car, you walk out, you're busy talking, you're on your phone, you're texting, you're driving. Who checks receipts? Who checks receipts? You know, I'm I'm glad I checked my receipt. My mother used to drive me crazy when I was a kid. She checks every price as it goes through the thing. Every single price. Oh, wow, that, no, they're on sale. She checks every price and it would drive me crazy. I get it, I get it. You know, my mom's now on a fixed income, so it does pay for her to check everything that goes through. Mistakes happen. I mean, even if a cashier is there, it's only ringing up what it's the computer's telling her. So, you know, that $8 can buy me another meal, two, three meals for the way I shop. I can get a lot more, you know, for my $8 and that's $8 I had to work for. So 
be careful and check your receipts. You can save a lot of money. So it said I saved with my card today $15.79 on this little order. And then you add another $8 into it. Oh, yes, I'll just do this right now because I got another $8. So I did quite well today. I was very pleased with it. So um, yeah, let me know if you're in the Massachusetts area, if you're familiar with that lettuce. And also let me know if you do any of the um, meat deliveries. I know some of you are a single family. So maybe buy, well, this box of meat, you can, you know, divide it up however you want. It'll probably last you a very long time. But I know I have a lot of single family uh, viewers, so you might not be up to doing boxes of meat, but I'd be curious. Do you do it? Which ones do you do? You like it? I'm always looking for a bargain. I'm always looking for something different. Thanks for coming over. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and if you like everyday living types of videos, come on and join the family. Hang out with us. Grab your coffee next time. I forgot to tell you. Get your coffee. Get your tea. Pull up a chair. Let's chat. See you, see you on another video. I do have some up and coming decluttering. Oh my word, my life has gone crazy. Stay tuned for some decluttering videos and my confessions of how I almost failed, if not failed, with my decluttering. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much.